All right, I've got two two-channel audio interfaces, and I want to create an aggregate device in the Mac so I can get the gentleman from New York the drum tracks he wanted on the acoustic drums. Uh, all my other interfaces are lent out to other bands right now, so I can't uh, I can't use those. So I'm going to use the two channel and the two channel to make a four channel in Reaper, and Mac allows you to do that. We'll just see here. Um, no, city of Sacramento. Um, where are we at here? Uh, I've got an explanation for it somewhere. Create an aggregate device to combine multiple audio devices. With an aggregate, de aggregate device, you can use audio inputs and outputs from different devices at the same time with Logic Pro, GarageBand, MainStage, and other core audio. And I'm going to use Reaper, of course. Uh, when you create an aggregate device, multiple devices appear as a single device in an app. So that's what we're going to end up doing. I thought I had like a screenshot, but it's not going to matter. Uh, you're going to go down to your Finder. And you're going to go to Audio MIDI Setup, and we're going to come down to the plus. And we're going to create an aggregate device, and we're going to grab the Scarlet, and we're going to grab the Thunderbolt, and that's it. That is all there is to it. Now we'll go into Reaper here. Uh, we can get rid of the Finder. Um, let's see. Back down to Reaper. And we can go up here and grab the audio device. Suddenly, of course, I'll have the focus right and I'll have the universal audio, but I'll now I'll have an aggregate device there as well. So I'm going to hit OK. And um, I can just, this is a new track right here, and I can just drop down. And now you see I've got the Scarlet in here. And I've got the uh, Thunderbolt. So yeah, I got them both. So I'll be able to do... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the drift. So let me come back down here to the audio MIDI setup. I'm going to set drift correction on both. Because there's no clock, right? There's no... There's no... Neither of them are doing a clock for each other. They're, no, they're not eight at. The Mac is syncing them up. So now... Some guys suggested I do this. Um, I guess some guys suggested I do this, and as well, I had the idea. We kind of all had the idea at the same time. And I think it was Full Blast, or one of the other characters there that said, uh, uh, that gave me the advice. They're like, well, it doesn't always work, right? Mac does what it can, but it doesn't always work. So, um... And I know that, so I'm going to test it. I'm going to put multiple mics in here and make sure that the four sources stay the same. How I'm going to do that, I'm not exactly sure at this moment. I mean, when we're on the drums, we got the two stereo overheads and the snare and the kick. I, I think I'm going to hear phase problems if there's phase problems or delay problems. Like, it should be pretty apparent. Like, do I get a nice sounding drum kit out of the deal or not? That's what we're going to find out. So, yeah, we are... Uh, Upward and onward, we're going to try it out. Hey, if this helped anybody, like and subscribe, comment below. Thanks for watching.